Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, boys and girls. It's Mr. Dorman for another read-along. Today I'm going to be reading David Gets in Trouble by David Shannon. This is a relatively short book, but I think it has a really good message, and it's one that I have been telling my students for the many, many years that I've been a teacher and an administrator and a parent. So I think it has a really good message. It's a relatively short book, but the message is really important. So David Gets in Trouble by David Shannon. David gets in trouble. When David gets in trouble, he always says, No, it's not my fault. I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. Do I have to? I forgot. My dog ate my homework. I couldn't help it. I was hungry. But she likes it. It slipped. But Dad says it. Excuse me. No, it wasn't me. Yes, it was me. I'm sorry. I love you, Mom. Here's the deal. And like I said, I've been telling my kids this forever. If you make a mistake, if you do something wrong, admit to it. Yeah, you may very well get in trouble. But the trouble's going to be a whole lot worse if you lie about it, you make excuses about it, you say it was somebody else that did it. We all make mistakes. It's the way life works. We're not all a bunch of robots. We make mistakes. But a mistake is ten times worse when you try to lie about it, you make excuses about it. You just say, yeah, I was throwing the ball in the house. I know I shouldn't have been. I broke the lamp. Yeah, I didn't do my homework because I got caught up playing Minecraft, so I didn't do my homework. Don't make excuses, just tell the truth, fess up to it and say yep and it won't happen again and make sure it never happens again. A mistake becomes a much bigger problem when you try to hide it. Just say yes, I made a mistake, I'm sorry it won't happen again and then make sure it never happens again. Whether you're dealing with your parents, your siblings, your friends, your teachers, whoever, if you do something wrong, you, people make mistakes. You own up to it, you admit to it, and you move on. It will make things a whole lot easier. So, I hope you enjoyed David Gets in Trouble. And remember, if you ever make a mistake, which we all do, just say, yep, I made a mistake. I'm sorry it won't happen again. And you move on. Have a great day. Stay safe. And we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.